Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. It is Sweetest Dolls, and today we are opening the Rainbow High Holiday Edition Collector Doll, um, Roxy Grand. Um, I, yeah, as you can see by the back of the box, I just filmed my holiday haul yesterday, and this was one of the dolls I got from my family, so thank you to them. But I am extremely excited to get into her i think she's a very very polarizing doll for a lot of the doll community and yeah so i guess we'll start with the back of the box so we have this absolutely like breathtaking art rainbow high's art is just like top tier next level and having this like kind of billboard cut out kind of style on the back of the box where just nothing but the art is absolutely gorgeous i love all the gems falling around i love the pose it's very like i don't know like vogue-esque and i don't know just very like i don't know just very like elegant and i love how everything looks on here i love how the tinsel looks here even though obviously the tinsel sucks <laughs> so that's probably going to be taken out at some point and yeah so besides that um, I guess we'll look at the top of the box next, so we can save the doll for last. So the top of the box has a little blurb. It says, Roxy Grant is decking the halls with fabulous fashion, like this crystal encrusted gown she designed herself. Even though that isn't true, and apparently Jewel Richie designed it in the show. So somewhere along the line, they changed the storyline for Roxy specifically when it came to Rainbow Vision, even though she was in one episode for maybe 10 se seconds. So... Yeah, there isn't a lot to this box, but the next is the front, which is gorgeous. I I really do like, sorry about my ring light, I really do like this packaging. I just think for a doll that doesn't come with anything but what she's wearing, it's very just like not needed, <laughs> as most people um, think. I just think like, why? I think it's gorgeous. I love the prismatic effect. I love all the like the gem shapes and everything, and I love the gradient, but it's like why and also this like what is that doing for anybody real really like what is that doing for anybody and also it makes it so that you can't really keep her in box if you wanted to because over time like dust and the elements can get in through this little plastic like slit right here and it can hurt the doll so it's like you're gonna have to take her out eventually which is stupid for a collector doll if i'm being completely honest but yeah, um, I've heard the unboxing experience for her is quite painful, so I'm going to cut, as I normally do now, off camera, and I'm going to be back to you guys in a little bit, and hopefully I won't be in too much of a distressed state after unboxing her, but I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so I'm back. That was kind of a nightmare of an unboxing experience. <laughs> like, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I've definitely opened harder dolls to unbox, but... This was a, a little much for what came in there. Like, usually when I have a hard time, it's usually because there's more outfits. There's, like, a lot of things to the doll. It's literally just this doll on an extremely complicated stand for no reason. But, anyways. um, So, I'm going to take her off this extremely clunky and gross stand. And I'm going to just start with her face. Because that, I think, is the best part of her. I think her face is, like, really, really gorgeous. I know a lot of people think she's very bland, but I do think what they were going to execute here is really cool. I just don't think it was executed all that great. So I'll show the art for this doll first. Let me put her down. Um, so when you look at the art, she has, like, a very, like, smoked out, blended eye at the top which is really pretty and I think would have been really cool on the doll. But when you look at the doll herself, oh my god, her necklace, this ne this like big ass necklace, so annoying. <laughs> um, It's kind of like blocked. It's like color block makeup, which is like, it's fine if that's what they were going for. But you can tell they were going for a blended look because it goes from like this pinky red to like a very little purple and then like a blue. Even though this is probably supposed to be the purple and this is supposed to be like a, I don't know. But I think you get my qualm. Um, I just don't think the makeup was executed very well. I think she's still gorgeous. Like, if you look at this doll, absolutely gorgeous. I think the makeup is really pretty for what it is. But when, especially in the prototype, she has, like, soft, such soft blended makeup. And most of the time, when it comes to the Rainbow High makeup, it looks, like, almost the same 
if not sometimes better than the prototype. So in this case, it just looks a little, it like looks worse in my opinion, and it's a little disappointing. I will say that because they've done what they were trying to execute here on dolls before, if I can't remember, for like cheaper price points. Like I don't know when in the time frame these were coming out, but like June, like not junior high, Costume Ball Bella has a blended out top pink smoky eye type thing. And this is just, like, very, like, eh. <laughs> I, overall, I do, I really like the color palette, though. It's very, like, iridescent-esque, which I think is really interesting that they were able to execute, like, the iridescent colors in, like, solid colors and not just through, like, an iridescent dress like this and the rhinestones and stuff. But I do think it's really pretty. I love the, like, cut crease with the white and the iridescent glitter. I think the brows are pretty, um... I'm not a big fan of the original Rainbow High eyebrow compared to all the other ones we've gotten. Like, I feel like she probably would have looked a lot cuter with a different one. Or if she just didn't have the white um, hairlines. But it is what it is. This doll also... I got very lucky. This doll has, like, a pretty much perfect face. Um, I think these are new eyes to her, too. I'm not entirely sure. But I do think they're really gorgeous. They're, like, a red to a pinky, to a blue, to, like, a maroon color story, which is really fun. And then her lips are gorgeous. I love the, like, deep plum lip liner with the, like, really pretty red. And this is, like, one of the few times that, like, painted lip, I mean, painted teeth has been done well. I mean, it's been done pretty well on all the other Rainbow High dolls, but recently it's been kind of bad, specifically with dolls like, um, Nicole and Daya Monte from Shadow Eye Series 2. Um, I do think this doll overall is really pretty. I also love, like, the heavy blush that she has on. Like, that's, like, a lot, and it's, like, really gorgeous. I don't know. I think it's really pretty. Um, next are her earrings. They're the same on both sides. They are just, like, very... I forget who comes with this earring mold. Uh, it might be Chanel, or Chanel might come with a very, like, a form of this earring i don't know if you guys remember who it is oh wait it's it literally could just be aisha back there sorry but anyways it has the rh with a silver like chain that goes down into that iridescent emerald cut gem which is really really pretty they are very big though um i don't know i don't know how i feel about it on her but they are staying on for now i am going to restyle her because We'll get into it, but I'm over the mermaid dress. I'm over the mermaid cut dress, but anyways, next we have this. This is a new piece. I know this for sure. This is a really, really pretty necklace. It has just like a bunch of gems that lead into a bigger, um, I think that's also an emerald cut. It is supposed to be painted kind of iridescent, but it doesn't come across that great. It just looks kind of shimmery. I do think it's really pretty. And I do like how it looks. I just think compared to the dress and her other stuff, like it just looks very dull, which is a problem <laughs> compared to the rest of the dress. But anyways, I guess on to the main... Oh, is that a loose thread right there? Oh, come on. Okay, do I have the scissors near me? Sorry. They fell, so I'm not going to be cutting it, but mine has a loose thread here. I'm not probably not going to keep her in this box in this dress to be honest but that is a little disappointing um but here is the bodice part of the dress i'm gonna take off the necklace just so we can see everything i will say i am extremely impressed with the amount of rhinestoning and the like gem work on the entire dress i'll just do a quick overview it literally goes all the way around and it, like, I haven't seen a single one fall off. Like, everything is on there really nice. They all shimmer and shine really beautifully. Like, looking back here when it's out of focus, like, that is absolutely gorgeous. I just wish it wasn't a mermaid dress. <laughs> like, I just wish it wasn't a mermaid cut. I don't know. But it's really gorgeous. Like, the pattern that they did for a bunch of the rhinestoning is really, like, amazing. It all carries onto the back of the top as well. Um, and then moving down, we have kind of, like, a star trickle effect, and then it goes down to the, like, insane, um, skirt piece, which is 
fully decked out in rhinestones. I think there's like 630 something on here. I forget. Uh, one of my Twitter mutuals counted them when, back when they got Roxy and it was a lot. It was a lot. I will say that. I actually think it was more than they said on the box or like on the listing for Roxy, but don't quote me on that because I don't know. <laughs> um, but something I was impressed with by this dress, not only the fabric, because obviously the fabric, it feels and looks amazing, but the skirt itself is three different tiers. So we have this sheer iridescent layer with all the rhinestones on it. We have this kind of cheapy satin layer. And then we have this crinoline down here that also uses that iridescent like, um, iridescent uh, sheer layer from here. And the um, uh, tool, it has like a slight glitter to it. You can kind of see it there. The layers on this dress are really impressive. I think it looks great from the bottom up. I just think that when it comes to the waist, we've had mermaid dresses that have been cinched better and have looked better on the dolls. Like specifically, I just think this one makes her look like she's wearing a bag. Like a really pretty bag, but a bag. Because it doesn't really like a curve, like hug to her figure, which is what they were going for, as you can tell in like the art and also the show. So I don't know. I just think that was a bit of a miss when it came to the doll, like the dress design. And I do think she would have looked better with a ball gown. I don't know. I just want a ball gown. Like Rainbow High, give me a ball gown, please. But anyways, next are her shoes, which are pretty plain. And I have the same problem with them that I do the necklace. They are just like extremely dull compared to say the dress itself. They are a pretty mold and everything. Also, she has ankle articulation. Why that instead of the chest? I don't know, but she does. Um, they're pretty. They're very basic shoes, which isn't a bad thing. Because I feel like it'll be nice for like restyle and stuff. Like not to have like crazy, crazy shoes. I don't know. I think they're pretty. But when you're going to have high low mermaid dress, it's like, it goes from like, when you put the necklace on, where did I put the necklace? There it is. When you put the necklace on, it goes from like, gorgeous face, kind of dull necklace, absolutely gorgeous decked out dress to boring shoes. So, I don't know. The like flow of her isn't the best, if that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to be too harsh in this doll because I do like her. But when it's for the price point that she's at with how little she comes with and her being a holiday doll, it's like, you need to step it up. Sorry, but you do. Um, I will say the best jewelry piece or like the best accessory piece that she comes with are her bracelets. I think they're really well done and I do think they work really well with the actual rhinestones that we have. And I think it's because it's actually like a fully transparent plastic with some iridescent paint on it or something. I think they're really pretty. Um, she also has some rings on her nails, I mean on her hand, and her nails are just painted white. Then on this side, we have three bracelets. Two of them are just plain silver. One of them has an R for Roxy, I'm assuming. And then the other one has, like, possibly a Medusa head. And then we have the middle one that is just, like, a bunch of square cut ge um, gems. But, yeah, she also has some rings on this finger, too. But, yeah, that's, like, kind of the entire doll. I, I... <laughs> Let me, okay. Before I go into my final thoughts, I want to show you this insane stand. So, not only is it, like, like, what? Like, absolutely massive. And, like, just taking, sorry, Daphne. I don't even know where to put you right now. But taking just, like, a regular Rainbow High stand, like, why? Why? Why did we need, the, like, <sighs> I understand. This also comes on top, by the way. This is, um I think, supposed to help, like, hold in the stand piece into the box so it doesn't like fall around and stuff like that which is a good idea in concept but in execution it just looks very strange it makes the stand a lot more clunky than it has to be it obstructs the hair when it's trying to lay down um and the stand clip is also like really weirdly extended like i don't know like why they made it so far out compared to a regular rainbow high stand um and on top of that we also have a um a saddle stand with <laughs> leg holds so i'm gonna 
real time. I'm gonna try and put her on the stand because I actually haven't tried to put her back on it yet since I took her off. So, like, say you're a kid, you got this for Christmas, you're, you opened her because you're a kid and you wanna play with your doll. This is the process of getting her back on the stand in real time. <laughs> like, oh my God. And also the saddle stand isn't even going up to dress because you have to like position her. So, <laughs> like this is just like, <laughs> like I, and now her feet are stuck in the like leg huggers or whatever. So I don't know. I think what they want you to do is probably like filter it up through the, oh my God, filter it up through the dress like this. And then I guess, and then that works. But actually, is it in right? I don't even know. Like, it's just like, all this feels wrong. <laughs> and then I guess they would want you to put her on like that, bring her over, and then plop it down into place. And then her feet have like two little crevices to go onto, and then that's how she looks on the stand. Like, they're going through all this trouble to make this really elaborate stand for her to stay on in box. Meanwhile, they packaged her obsessively to the point where it's hard to get her out and I uh, again I don't know a lot about the production of this doll specifically so maybe they had to do this crazy stand so that she wouldn't like fall around in the packaging with the like box layout they wanted but it's like you could literally just have a regular rainbow high stand and it literally took me not even a second to put her on and you get the same effect so I don't know I don't know I feel like one or the other would have been better. Like, if you just had that weird um, saddle stand part with the um, shoe, in, shoe indents on the bottom of the stand, I feel like that would have worked just fine and you didn't you wouldn't need the waist hugger. Because, like, that looks fine. And then you could have just had this and then you wouldn't have had to have, like, the exposed stand bit here. And then it could have been a more seamless, I don't know, look in the box, because when you're, when you have her in the box, you can see the waist hugger, so it kind of obstructs view of the side of the dress, um, but yeah, also forgot to mention, we also have the little turny thing on the bottom of the, the stand, which I do think is cool when it's out of box, because it's like fun, like, I don't know, like, I just, I just think that's fun that you can do that, and it would also make for like Instagram content, and just like content in general would be fun, because then you could show the doll in different ways like you could just have her standing in one place but you can also show both sides i don't know i think it's cool out of the box is cool but in the box makes absolutely no sense <laughs> but yeah that's like kind of it i stopped, i went on a long rant considering she doesn't come with that much but i didn't pay for her but my parents i think they got her on sale for like 40 something because there was a coupon going around where it's like I think you got like $20 off or something at the time when they ordered her so I don't know but um even at 40 bucks I mean 40 bucks I guess is more worth it because the dress is really high quality I like all the accessories she comes with the makeup is really nice the doll herself is really gorgeous and nice and I do think her outfit is extremely high quality and really well made but I just think we're sick of seeing the mermaid cut that like gown we're sick of these, like, collector dolls that only come with one outfit or just come with, like, weird, a weird outfit that we don't even want. Like, it's hard for me to explain how I feel because I do genuinely like this doll. I do genuinely think she is really cool and I'm happy to have her and I did want her, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have her. So it's not like I want to hate her <laughs> or I want to, like, be negative about her, but it's when you're re having her retail for... $59.99 or $60 somewhere like it's in that zone and this is all she comes with and I know a lot of the money probably went into the the box like this really cool geometric bit and then the actual like outer box here and then the tooling that they use for the stand like all of that probably costs a lot of money because it's all new molds for them so they kind of just like went with the same mermaid gown dress that we got with the Rainbow Vision Divas and we also got with Jet Dawson and then we're using a bunch of these crystals to justify the price but we're also using a lot of reused molds when it comes to the jewelry and earrings and the necklace is the only new one I think 
maybe minus one or two of the bracelets, but I don't know. I just think that for that price, it's kind of <laughs> unacceptable having her like this when a lot of her stuff technically is reuse which i usually don't have a problem with i like when they reuse stuff because it's cool to have it in multiple colors or more, more like slightly different designs but it's when we have like at this point we have three or four of these mermaid cut gowns in rainbow high it's like enough is enough i just i wish that she got a ball gown or something of the sort i even if she got like aisha back there even if she got like a gown like that where it has a slit up the side or like something like that, I do think she would have looked really cool and it would have made her a lot more unique than this because you can get the same exact like, cut gown from a Rainbow Vision Diva that is $20 cheaper and comes with more stuff and arguably is worth more of her price. So, I don't know. Um, I'm going to leave it off there. Do I recommend her? If you can get her on sale, yes. Do I recommend her for $60? Absolutely not. I think that is ridiculous, but yeah. That is, it. that is it for this video. Sorry, I feel like I went on for a really long time and I went really hard on her, but considering I got her for free technically because they they were a gift, um, I just want to express my opinion regardless, even as if I bought her myself because I was thinking about it, but I just couldn't justify it, especially when so many other MGA dolls for that price range come with so much more, justify the price a lot more. But I digress again. Um, I do think she's really gorgeous. I'm excited to have her in my collection. I'm excited to restyle her because she's not staying in this. I also am most likely going to be taking out the tinsel from her hair, which she has a lot of. Um, and yeah, so that is kind of it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff. Um, I post mainly Rainbow High stuff now because that is the doll line that like I collect the most actively besides Bratz. But and, Ram and Mermaid High. Not Mermaid High, and Mermaids. But yeah, let me know what you guys want to see in the future. Um, let me know if you're going to get her, when you're going to get her, what price you think you would get her for instead of the $60 that she is, or she might have been. I don't know if she's permanently on sale now, but yeah, um, I guess that is it. I keep going on and on. I'm just going to go. So I hope you guys had a good day and hope you guys enjoyed this video. So bye.